Hey everybody, Mags here. We are going to review some of the hints and tips that we've been given this year on the Dynasty Hot Seat. If you are new here, do me a favor, can you like, comment, share on this video for me, please, like you can see here. And then also, if you're new here, why not hit that subscribe button too? It really helps out, right? On to the hints and tips. Yeah, so, you know, when, when I think Dynasty football, um, you know, Right now, obviously, because all the rage is, you know, the, the NFL draft and the rookies and the young guys and things like that. I just my, my number one tip when it comes to dynasty is you're aiming for probably no more than like a three to four year window. At the same time, you've got to figure out when that three to four year window is like if you are a super young team, your three or four year window might not be till two, three years from now. So you're going to want to build for that. You don't want a whole lot of older players on your team. Uh, you you kind of want uh, guys that are, you know, rookie, second-year players, probably no older than 26, 27, and even that, like 28, like for some of these receivers who you think you know, have the longevity. Quarterbacks are a different story. Quarterbacks, you know, can, can play to their 35. Yeah. So be it, um, you know, uh, but – that that's the thing is you really have to play for a three to four year window and you've got to be able to recognize when that 34 year window is and trade for players who fit inside that window. Um, you know, you're not always just trying to go get, you know, the, the best value just because whatever, like, you know, you don't right now, you probably don't want Dalvin cook. If your three to four year window is, is three years from now. Right? Yeah. That's just yeah. not going to work for you. He's not going to be good. In three. He might be, but Chances are maybe, you know, probably not. That's just how running yeah. backs roll. Right. So that, that's my number one tip. Yeah. Um, I think that is, I think that's tremendous like advice, like knowing and, you know, being like really honest about your team. Don't just look at your team and be like, Oh, this is the best team ever because I know that um, uh, Deontay Johnson's going to get injured and my chase Claypool is going to be worth even more. Like, like don't like thinking those kind of hypotheticals, like be really honest, like, about your team and are you ready to compete now or or will it take a few more years? And would you even go as far as so something I've been doing? I'm not sure if I've, I've been doing the right thing or not, but I've been thinking like my team in like my home league isn't quite ready to compete until next year. So 2023. And I've kind of been thinking that for a while. So any trades I've been doing, I've actually just been like, I don't want your 22 picks. Just give me your 23 picks. Cause that's when I want to get all my running backs and stack them up and then have used the rest of my team and go for it then. I don't, I don't hate that. I mean, especially with, with this draft class, not being as strong as, you know, a lot of people think yeah. next year's will be. Um, although you're, you're kind of playing with fire. Like you're kind of just hoping you, you hit on those rookie running backs hit on those yeah. rookie receivers. And I mean, you're rolling the dice. So maybe you yeah. go get, maybe you go get a running back who, you know, will be able to produce in, in two years in, in, you know, or next year, you know, at this point. And yeah, he could be a couple years older, but you're hitting that three to four year window still like that that's still mm. going to work for you because i mean there's still i mean a roll of dice with a lot of these rookies still like we just don't know we've yeah. seen many many busts um so that that's how i would kind of play i think nice love that so yeah i love that love that first tip thinking about in different kind of windows so uh what else you got for us joe yeah i mean on, on the same kind of token here is uh <laughs> especially in like a startup draft be careful going like super rookie slash young player happy. Um, yeah. And if, if you do that and, and I, there are teams in, in dynasty leagues that I'm in that they, they constantly will just like trade future, you know, their older ish players for like picks or young guys. And, you know, just hoping that they'll just be there forever. And they're just going to have this like juggernaut for 10 years. That doesn't work um you're you will most likely be chasing the rest of the league the entire time you're there yeah could you get lucky and it'll just all work out sure but i haven't seen it work very often mm. um you know the only time i saw it really work was one year the guy um i think he he like drafted zeke really young and then like two years later got like christian mccaffrey and like just just demolished the league and like yeah. <laughs> he just had yeah. he just had so much you know, <laughs> so much so many points from like two guys he just killed everybody yeah. it was that yeah. kind of thing and he had a couple of other guys that you know just you know they they carried you know they helped carry the team too but like 
sure it can work but you i just feel like when you go too young player happy especially in startups you just set yourself so far behind the rest of the pack um and what happens is not enough of those young players are going to hit so then you don't have trade value so you know in in startups especially right you need to be able to go get some of those veterans that are, you know, maybe on their way out, like they're at their peak. Yeah. So maybe next year you trade them, you know, type of thing. Like if you think, you know, like, Oh, I'm going to get into the last couple of years type of thing. That's when you trade them. Right. And then, but if you just have a bunch of young players and only half of them hit, you've got no value. You've got nobody to trade because you're not going to trade your only good players. You've only got what? 10. <laughs> Yeah, you can't trade those guys. What are you going to get back in return? More rookie picks and hope they work. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's tough. So you can't just go all young players. You've got to go get some guys who are going to be able to win now for you. I mean, that's the thing in startups too. Like someone's got to win now. Why not? Why can't it be you? <laughs> that's why. Yeah, I, I like that. It. <laughs> yeah, dream big. Why can't it be that's, you? Like, yeah. Just you can't take away championships. Go get it first. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I really like that. I'm just. It is so tempting sometimes again, and it's like you gotta think about. I think with these young players, you gotta think about like potential ceiling. So it's like, so you're drafting like Trail on Burks, you're like, well, what is his ceiling gonna be? It's like, hmm, well, maybe his ceiling is like he'll finish like as high as like maybe Mike Evans does one year. It's like, well, you just actually go get Mike Evans. Like, or probably a, a lot cheaper in a draft. Yeah. And then so, in two years, you can trade him at pretty good value still and go get the next trade on Burks. Exactly. So why not? <laughs> yeah. So and, and I was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I love and in other plays right into like the whole, like, look, you, you're playing for like a three to four year window. Like even in startups play for a three to four year window. Don't, you can't play. You're not going to be consistently good for 10 years. You're not going to win championships for 10 years, no matter yeah. how many young studs you think you draft. It's just not yeah. going to work. So I never, yeah. play, I never play that. Yeah, it's it's maybe very easy to come fifth for ten years, like and just like keep th wishful thinking about these young I, guys without moving. But yeah, it's it's hard to stay at the top for five years. I'd rather be sailing at the top for a couple of years and then right at the bottom for a couple of years. I'd much rather be boom bust. That gets right into my next my next tip here, and, and it sort of is, you know, you know, it's it's sort of a mix. It's a mixed bag here, right? So it's a little bit of that, right? I want to, I want to be good. And then I want to be, I want to be really bad being middle of the road. It's almost like the NBA, right? The NBA draft. <laughs> Think about the 76ers, right? What did they do? They tanked. I hate the word tanking. Like I don't mm. like to do it. Like I'm still going to play my best team, but yeah. if I can trade some assets, like, you know, who are kind of on the way out, like if I know I can't compete for three years and I've got an older player who is still competing at a fairly high level, but in three years, I'm not going to be good. That guy, or that guy probably won't be as good and he can't help me as much then I'm going to trade him and go get a younger player. Who's going to be good in three years or a yeah. pick and hope it works out. Does it always work out? No, but at the same time, and, and this is another reason why I'm not afraid of older players. This is another part of this too. And I've kind of been mentioning this the whole way through, like, don't be afraid of older players who can help produce right now. And look, I know you want to maximize value, but there's some times where like you just need to ride that player out until he's no longer valuable. Like if he's yeah. going to help you right now, win a championship, let him do it. You can't, you know, I, I had, uh, I was this close to winning in one league and I had Marshawn Lynch on my team, you know, a few years ago when he kind of came back for his little last hurrah and, yeah, and uh, you know, in, in Oakland and, yeah, I probably could have traded them that year and gotten maybe a third round pick out of it. But yeah. who cares at that point? Like he almost he almost led me to a championship or helped lead me to a championship. And you know, like sometimes trying to maximize value also sets you back in dynasty leagues because you're gonna trade a guy who can help you win now for a guy who could yeah potentially help you win longer, but you still may not win, but you could win now. And you yeah. just let that championship window go out the window for you. And I don't know, I want rings. So I want a ring now and then another ring five years from now and then another ring five years. Like, that's fine. That That's yeah. still going to be, you know, I'm still going to be plus in the in my money for the for the league if I'm doing winning every five years. Yeah, no one's going to say anything to you if you end up like releasing Adam Thielen 
from your team because he's retired. But it's like, well, you won me a championship. You know, I'd much rather have that championship than that third round pick you're going to send me. So exactly. Yeah, no, I'm I'm all in on all three of those tips. That is absolutely tremendous uh, for for everybody listening as well. So thank you so much for watching today's video. Remember, like this video, leave a comment if you want, and subscribe to the channel. These videos are going to be coming thick and fast, so you don't want to miss anything. So that's it for today. In the meantime, keep yourselves, keep your teams lit. We'll see you next time.